Hey guys, MTB Gaming here, and today I'm doing a demo review on the brand new demo that was released today called Prevolution Soccer 2013. Um, uh, this is obviously a football game. If none of you are really um, into football, then you may as well not watch this. But yeah, I'll be doing a review telling you what it's like and what I think of it, and probably doing a FIFA 12 review when the demo is released. Um, and then I'll probably play that. So, as you can see, the the, the menu of Pro Evolution Soccer has changed from 2012. Um, looks 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 really different. But let's go into the match. Now, um, you can only play as countries, as you can see. Um, so, because I'm English, I'll play as England, and I'll go against Germany. Um, so, as you can see. The whole lineup and everything's changed, so nothing, nothing, nothing really new at the moment. Um, obviously, the, you're gonna expect a bit of the change in the menu um, every year. So, as you can see, the graphics to me don't really mean a lot, but they still um, attract customers. But the graphics on Pro Evolution Soccer 13. Looks similar to 2012. I've got, I've got a problem with that. Um, I'm just making that point. Now this is a national anthem, so we can skip that. We'll get straight into the game. Um, let's do this. Now I think I started playing Pro Evolution in Pro Evolution Shock 11 because I didn't know what it was like. Um, I really enjoyed 2011, and I, I really enjoyed 2012. Um, and there's something new on this game where you can actually choose where to pass or shoot to with this arrow. So, like that. I'm not really um, pro at it at the moment. I haven't got used to it. It's really hard, but it does give you that sense of freedom in the game. So, you can you can choose where to pass the ball or you can choose where to shoot, which is a really good um, decision that they've made to put in the, into the game. So... I don't think the shooting has changed a lot. Obviously, they make uh, they've made improvements on the the, the actual goalkeepers um, to make them basically better than they were in 2012. So they don't make many mistakes. And Gomez is one. Oh, right. Um, passing system feels the same to me. Still, I, I still I don't feel very comfortable comfortable playing Pro Evolution Soccer. I feel like it's very rough compared to FIFA and I don't like comparing them but I, I don't still feel that freedom in the football in the actual movement of the player uh, but that doesn't really bother me at all I still really enjoy the game um, I will probably get this game uh, probably get FIFA 13 as well but like I said I will be doing a review on FIFA 13 this demo is available on Xbox at the moment. I don't know about PS3. I think it should be. And I'll just. And that's um, my first shot on goal using the new direction system where you can choose where to pass or shoot with the ball. Pretty cool. Um, kind of hard to use because it's quite sensitive. I don't know if you can change the sensitivity of it. But it's, I think you can get used to it. Uh, So at the moment, I haven't really noticed anything different. Um, just really the cha well, the really good improvement. Oh, what a goal! Um, they've done the improvement where you can choose where to shoot or pass, which is a great idea. The graphics looks the similar than 2012, which I didn't have a problem with. Um, movement, movement still kind of feels the same. Now I don't know about you guys, but I really think the movement's the same. They did say there were there was more freedom in this one, but I haven't really cho I haven't really felt the freedom yet. Oh crap! Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've been playing FIFA lately or what. But either way, I'm still enjoying the game. Uh, and uh, this is the demo, so they haven't really completed. It. They did say at the beginning of the demo that. It's still in development, so there's still quite a few changes they can make. But I was saying to one of my friends earlier, there's not much changes um, Pez can make this it make because the game, 
the game the pairs itself is such a brilliant game they've got the they've got the graphics they've got the reality all they really knew, need is the animation of the players and um basically the license for the team names and stuff like that which in my case i think they deserve oh hit the crossbar i think they deserve the the actual license Great defending. Uh, I don't know if the defending's changed or the difficulty's high, but it's quite hard going past the defence. Well, let's do the second half. You do play both halves in the actual demo. I think the I think Walbeck looks quite funny on this game. Um, I don't think they've got all the detail for him, but. He's still got, he's got like a really square head. I quite find it quite funny, but doesn't really bother me. Now, um, the running guy I have a problem with. I think I'm not getting a lot out of the running guy. I was playing as Ronaldo earlier, and um, I was using him, and it, he didn't, he wasn't running as fast as, was, as he's supposed to be running. And I don't know if I was doing something wrong, or that's how he is, but why did he just head it that way um, but I don't know if that's something that I'm getting wrong or something that they're getting wrong but I need to sort that out now I'm obviously going to stick to the PES games stick to the FIFA games because they both they both got different kind of functions in it um, FIFA's got that um, ultimate team this has got like really great career and after playing um, PES 12 I really enjoy the career um, the the being a manager mode I enjoyed that and um, FIFA what I've read they've made loads of improvements on their game on their career and I'm looking forward to that just as I'm looking forward to this I'll be getting both games um, but because this is just a demo they, they're not allowed to show anything that probably will wow is a lot like something in the career mode or something like that um, all they're doing is get, giving you the opportunity to have a taste of the gameplay and that's what I'm doing and at the moment I don't think the gameplay isn't that bad so if you're considering downloading this I would if I was you I'd go download it it's a really good demo um, also it'll give you um, give you the chance to make your decision on whether if you want to buy it or not I'm definitely going to buy it I really enjoy um, the PES games now I haven't been playing them for that long I'll go on yes I've always found it difficult shooting in Pro Evolution Soccer I don't know why I'm probably because I played FIFA for longer but uh, most of you Pro Evolution Soccer fans probably find it easy but like, like I said I'm like a noob to Pro Evolution Soccer this will probably be my third prevalent shock I've played, and most people think most people I've heard have said that all prevalent shockers are the best. So I feel I'm missing out on quite a lot. So uh, see if we can get a win over the Germans. I think. Um, Prevalent Shock will also attract more customers, more fans, if they manage to get the license. Oh, that was a horrible shot. If they manage to get the license for the kits and the team names, stuff like that. In my opinion, I think both both EA and, um, I think it's Konami, I think it is, or, or FIFA or PES should put the differences aside and work on um, an actual game that involves both of them and they could call it like FIFA Revolution or something like that but let's think of it this way PES has its goods and bads and FIFA has its goods and bads um, I love PES's graphics and the realism in it now FIFA hasn't got in my opinion so no haters but in my opinion I think PES's graphics is better than the actual FIFA graphics and the gameplay of FIFA is better than PES but I don't think we're allowed to go into extra time, are we? Mm, no. So yeah, guys, that was the end of the demo. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, you can download this on Xbox on the Marketplace. 
Until um, next time, guys, I'll see you.